Hey everyone, this week it's a bit of a sensitive subject, so let's at least start off with a crime-related joke. A young man once robbed a bank wearing a suit made of mirrors, but he turned himself in after having time to reflect. And luckily the judge was lenient as he saw a lot of himself in the young man. But back to the topic at hand, Ghislaine Maxwell was arrested this week in America after an international manhunt ended up with the FBI showing up at her mansion in New Hampshire. And she doesn't want to afford Bronco, so they were pretty easily able to take her to jail, where she's now probably having a lot to talk about with her lawyer. Ghislaine is supposedly an eyewitness to lots of crimes involving formerly alive and famously now dead Jeffrey Epstein, and a lot of his former associates, from the Clintons to Prince Andrew to Elon Musk, are probably sweating a lot right now. Apart, of course, from Prince Andrew, who's famously unable to sweat, except, of course, when he's being photographed doing so. Shalane has been described in the news as Epstein's former girlfriend, but unlike many of his girlfriends, she's actually an adult and probably facing some pretty serious criminal charges related to human trafficking, and many are suggesting that she'll probably cut a deal and offer up information on everything that went on. You know, I once heard someone say that they didn't trust stairs because they were up to something. But in this case, there is a cadre of rich and powerful people who likely are up to something, ready to prevent any stories being revealed. And that, of course, is why everyone's now wondering how long it will be until a, quote, tragic accident occurs, possibly in the same prison as her friend Jeffrey was hanging out in and later just hanging in. My thinking is it will be the coronavirus this time and a high-profile court case will be yet another big event missing from our screens this autumn. Certainly the prospect of Prince Andrew being called to give evidence at a trial must make him rather glad that she wasn't arrested in Paris at her other house because the British royals famously don't have very much luck when they visit that place. Now having watched the interview, Prince Andrew is certainly no stranger to car crashes. But of course this is all speculation and rumour for now. You know, without answers or evidence, it's about as much use as asking what the speed of lightning would be if it didn't zigzag. Personally, I'm happy to wait until the judge or more likely the coroner makes up their mind and comes back with something conclusive. Though in the meantime, if you are interested in gossip, go online and look up the lives of Robert Maxwell's other children, because they give soap operas a run for their money. You know, I guess that Ghislaine Derva had a lot more in common with Prince Andrew than his family than any of us ever knew. Anyway, see you next week. Please click subscribe.